Hi, I'm Mohammed and I am one of the co-creators of Cube Intel, a Kubernetes intelligent UI. I'm sure you have had your fair share with Cube Control and trying to use it to show you what you need from your Kubernetes clusters, building long bash one-liners and even bash scripts, or even trying to build your own Cube Control extension. Well, Cube Intel is a solution for that. It's an intuitive UI with a light and fast search and AI powered insights that can work with various AI providers. It can work on major Kubernetes platform, whether those are your favorite cloud providers or even on-prem. can work with the various resources and it's full with various useful features. So let me show you a short demo so you can stop wasting time in your terminal. So this is an instance of Cube Intel that is actually running on a Kubernetes cluster. So this is where you can search for all your resources. I can come here, for instance, and I can type Cube System, and that will show me various resources that has so much related to Cube System, right? This search also, for example, support typos. So I can type Hubble, and I didn't even include the U, the letter U, and it can still show me. And from here, I can click on anything. For instance, I can click on this deployment over here, and I will be able to see a summary of this deployment. I can see containers. I can see the deployment details. I can even see some kube control commands and the metadata. And if I want to dig deep into the specification of this deployment, I can do that in these tabs over here. I can also see the pods related to this deployment. As we can see, we have one pod. We can also see the events. And we even have an investigator tab, which I will later show you how to use with a bad pod. Also here, if we want to search for a specific resource like pods, for example, we can come here and we can type Cilium and we can see we can get the pods. If we click on it, we will get basically a summary page, the specs, the YAML, events, logs, and investigator. For instance, here we can click on logs and we can see the logs. We can switch between containers and see the log at a glance. Yeah, and we can do the same for deployments, stateful sets, namespaces, and even nodes. Let's look at the namespaces. If we don't want to use the search or we don't know what we are going to search for, we can use query all namespaces. And then we list all the namespaces and it can give us a simple idea here of how we can do the search. For instance, here I can click on the cube system and I can see the summary of the cube system namespace, but I can also browse the various resources that are in this namespace, like deployments, daemon sets, services, stateful sets, which we don't have any, pods, jobs, and even config maps. Now let's go back to pods. I'm gonna go ahead and launch a malfunctioning pod. The name of this pod is demo, nginx demo. So we can just type in demo and we can see it. If I click on it here, we can see that it's ready, running, has a one over one and no restarts. If we click on events, uh, we can see that it's unhealthy and its liveness probe is actually failing. If we don't understand these events, we can use actually AI to explain these events. This AI can work with the various AI providers, such as OpenAI, Anthropic, Gemini, and even Olama. So this is give us a small explanation of this specific events. But let's say even I read this explanation and I don't understand it very well. I can go to investigator. I can allow the events to be submitted to the LLM and even the logs as well. And here I can type trouble shoot this for me be brief. What happened is we took the pod specification, some events and some logs from the container and we submit it to uh, in this case, open AI, and we ask it to troubleshoot for us. And as you can see, it was able to troubleshoot it very well and even provide us with a solution that if we fix this, it's going to run as we expect. And that way you can save time 
and be productive when working with Kubernetes.